I don't often talk Georgia Tech football here on the BS Report, but I think it's time to. Now, I'm not breaking any news with this little comment here that Jeff Collins is not going to make it as the head coach of the Georgia Tech football program. He's won only 10 games in three-plus years, and his team was just defeated 42 to nothing at home by a mid-level SEC team in Ole Miss. And the head coach of Ole Miss, who some believe should be a candidate to replace Collins, said that he kind of backed off knowing the situation of how hot the seat was for Coach Collins. That kind of tells you how bad the situation is in Atlanta. Now, look, I've always been of the opinion that football in the state of Georgia is better when all the teams are good, and that includes Georgia Tech, and that means that there is no reason why Georgia Tech should be this bad. Now, they decided to let go and to make a change and – to kind of go in separate ways of Paul Johnson a few years ago after he had had the job for 11 years. And while Paul had done a great job at Georgia Tech, I think it had gotten a little stale there at the end. I think he was ready to go, and I think they were just kind of ready for a change. A lot of times after a decade, there kind of comes a point where you have to make a decision of which way you're going to go into that second decade. And they had gone 11 years with Paul Johnson and had success. But I think it was a little stale, so they decided to move in a different direction. And Todd Stansberry, a former Georgia Tech player who is the AD, decided to hire Jeff Collins. And pure and simply, he made the wrong choice. It was right for Paul Johnson to move on after 11 years, but it was not right to select Jeff Collins. It was simply a bad choice. He came in full of fire and thought he owned the world and thought he knew how Football was played perfectly and thought he knew everything about Atlanta, thought he knew everything about the 404, and he came off as the P.T. Barnum without any football sense. He was a showman. He was full of you-know-what that just really didn't have anything to do with football. He wanted to make like Georgia Tech was great and everything like that, but as Ernie Johnson Sr., the old Braves announcer, once said, the best promotion in the world is winning. And if you do that kind of talk, you have to back it up with some wins. And Jeff Collins has not been able to do that. He is instead a sideshow. He is a freak. He is a clown and has made a mockery of Georgia Tech football. And they deserve better. The fans deserve better. Now, the fans are going to have to step up. They're going to have to step up and want to demand for Georgia Tech football to be relevant and to be real and to be just part of the Atlanta landscape. It's not right now. He has done that much damage to this football program. And with all of the talent in the state of Georgia at the high school level, even above Atlanta and in the 404 and in the 706 and in the 770, there is no reason that Georgia Tech, even with their academic requirements, cannot have better football players. That was something for some reason Jeff Collins never understood. There's so much talent in the state of Georgia. There's room for everyone to come in and get talent. It's not like Georgia's going to get only talent from the state of Georgia or the Georgia Southern or Georgia State or Mercer or Kennesaw State. They're going to branch out a little bit. But think of all the high schools in this state and all the talent. And that's why this job should be something that people want to get because there's talent there. And with the right situation, with the right fit, and with the right athletic director, not Todd Stansberry, Georgia Tech can be a winner again, but it's not going to be with Jeff Collins.